Okay, this is a quick tutorial to explain how to use the event budget sheet. Uh, keep in mind that the only columns that you will put any information in are the light colored columns. If the columns are gray in color, you don't touch those because those all have formulas that help manage the money and explain how the money works and how it flows throughout the budget document. So we're going to go ahead and get started and just take a look at this from the top left hand corner. Uh, we have, for example, in this column, the first column, column B, we have the key. What's the key mean? That means, for example, if it's a trade show, I like to use TS to identify trade show. You can have any names, any numbers, any words that you or initials that you want in here. Just make sure that they're short so it's easy to capture later. Uh, the next column is MM. I call it marketing manager. You can call it anything you want to. And here you just put the initials of who that person might be. In this case, I'll put my initials in there. And what's the name of the event? We'll just call it event number one. Start date, we'll make it say February 1. Let's say the event ends on February 3. That actually happens in quarter number one, so we'll just put Q1 here. Uh, the region is, let's just say it's America's. This is a global document, or it can be used as a global document, but in this case, we'll just say it's for uh, North America. The city, let's say the event is in Denver. And we'll give it a tracking code. You can make it any tracking code you want. In this case, we'll just call it ABC123. That's easy. Approved. Now, prior to my getting this document, the, the manager of the events, the VP of events, has approved a, a budget of $1,000. This number can be $1,000. It can be $20 million. This document will handle 500 events and over 1,000 receipts. So if you want to manage more than one event, you certainly can do that. But let's just pretend for the moment that this has, my, I'm only approved for $1,000, and that's only approved for one event. So let's say that this event has been approved for $1,000. That's how much money the manager has given me for this event. So I have not allocated, which means I have not determined when and where I'm going to spend the money yet. So it says $0. Uh, but let's just say for purposes here that I'm going to spend the money in Q1. Well, over here we've got Q1, budget for Q1. I'm going to allocate this $1,000 to spend in Q1. Now what you'll see here is you'll know if you've done it right, these will all turn green. This is the dollars that were approved. This is the dollars that were allocated for the event. And these are the dollars that have been allocated to a quarter. So now that $1,000 means that there's nothing left to allocate. There are no dollars left to allocate. There's nothing remaining. Okay. So I've got, the, I've got the dollars allocated, and I'm going to spend them in Q1. So I spend the money, and I've got a receipt. Well, what do I do with the receipt? Over here on the right is the receipts column. And we're just going to take this one step at a time. Marketing manager, that will be the same person over here. That will be me. Uh, what quarter was it in? Well, that spend here was in quarter one, so we'll put Q1 here. The tracking code, we're going to put the same tracking code in over here, ABC. One, two, three. The invoice date, well, since the show was in February, let's just say it was January 15th. Uh, let's say that it was paid with a credit card, and as opposed to getting an invoice. Let's just say that the vendor's name was Exhibit Services. Let's say the, the reason that we spent the money was for Exhibit Setup. And let's say the amount was $1,000. Now you can see it's totally the amount of $1,000 here is already having been spent. And when we slide back over here, we can see the, that money that was approved, the money was allocated, and the money was spent, which means there's nothing left to spend here. And you can see that in, in Q1, budget for Q1, we spent, we had $1,000 allocated, and we put that receipt over there for $1,000, which means it's been spent, which means how much have I got left? Nothing. And you can do the same logic through 500 events and 1,000 receipts all the way down. Uh, it's best to start with an approved budget so you know what your number is. It could be, like I said, it could be $10 million or a million dollars. And then uh, as you go down, you have to have, you have to put approved numbers in here first. So if you've got 5000 for one event and 22000 for another, these all have to be pre-approved and filled out to match this amount so that uh, uh, all your dollars have been approved for spending before you allocate. That's basically how this works. There's not much else to it.